channel, I'm Jana and we are in Bulgaria. Now we are going to Burgas. It's the next uh, city where we're going to stay for two nights and two days. So it will be today and full day tomorrow. So right now we're leaving Plovdiv. Uh, and I uh, just want to show you guys that uh, I'm standing. We had a parking here which belongs to the apartment. And our belongings are still here. So it's a pretty safe uh, area and uh, nothing's happened, so I'm quite pleased with it. I just wanted to show you uh, how full the car is. That's the... We have all of these belongings. We have every, we had um, uh, everything in the car left, except we're taking this uh, bag and uh, these two, uh, and a little one. So this is, we have our clothes, which are changing, and uh, some other things for bathroom, you know, the laptop bag and computer. Of course, we were not living in the car. So this is just uh, pretty much on, only the clothes we were living. And see, this is also boot. You see how full it is? So I just want to show you all the things we have with us. And, uh, but you can see it's from the outside because the bags are dark. Uh, it's not noticeable, so luckily. And uh, I don't think anybody can see this, if there is anything in the car. So you can see this side too, all packed. So that's how we <laughs> travel. And so we will see how it's going to be in the other destinations. So, um, yeah, we are going now and um, I'll try to see, record anything I'll see and show it to you guys. Right now it's switched on because the air conditioner is on. By the way, you need to have the, um, the lights on also here in Bulgaria because um, once we actually we were driving without them on and we were stopped by police. They didn't find us, but they warned us, said you have to have it on. about an hour and uh, so according to our side now it's an hour and a half and uh, it's very flat uh, here so I'm just uh, oh well it's a bit of trees right now so I was going to show you a little bit more so you can see while we're driving to see a little bit of uh, countryside but it's very very flat uh, completely different to southwest where it's mountains and mountains and mountains everywhere so beautiful here is just really boring it's just straight road the road is actually was not very good for many kilometers it was just like bumpy 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 even though it's actually a motorway and uh, like no holes or nothing but i think they're going to resurface it or something so right now it's a bit better and you can see again there you see fields 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 everywhere fields it actually reminds me of my um, uh, hometown Saratov because we have the same exactly the same countryside it's an agricultural uh, region in my area where I'm from and this is just remind me so much except they have a lot of sunflowers fields you see lots, uh, lots and lots of sunflowers so um, yeah and uh, after driving this for an hour we were like so bored and wanted to have a little break and wanted to pop up uh, a, a town was there Stara Zagora we already drove onto it but then we were stopped by police and uh, told that the road is closed and looks like it's a uh, protest so they have to they asked us if we are going to Burgas turn around and continue your journey because they said we're not going to be able to drive there so um, yes uh, that's why now we continue and uh, our plan if we will get to Burgas uh, quite early and it's a nice weather we were thinking actually maybe to go and have a swim. I wasn't really planning too much on uh, going to the beach because I don't really like spending time on the beach. But if we are coming there early and uh, have a little bit of relax, and right now it shows 31 centigrades. Uh, in Plovdiv it was still showing 38. So it's, so it's about 90 something Fahrenheit, 90, 96. So it's uh, good for swimming, it's nice weather. Uh, then uh, maybe we will go and uh, we'll just check in on a ho hotel, drop our bags off and uh, maybe drive to the beach and take a taxi. We should be about one kilometer, I think, from the beach, uh, from the place uh, I'm renting. This time, it's a hotel this time though, not a uh, flat. So then maybe we will go and uh, have a little splash try because I have never been on a Black Sea. So unfortunately I can't compare the uh, Russian side because in Russia we have also Black Sea and 
but people are always complaining that Black Sea is not as clear as uh, like Mediterranean Sea, uh, of course Adriatic Sea or something. That's why a lot of people. Why it's called black? Yeah. Uh, people. No, it doesn't matter. It's still black, but it still should be clear. So, and so, uh, yeah, and that's uh, and uh, a lot of people also complaining that it's not clean. Uh, you know, like uh, all the stuff uh, goes into the sea, right? So that's why I never wanted to go in Russia. My friend actually went when she was a child. With parents, they went to Black Sea, and um, she got some disease from the sea out there, and they never went back. And uh, that's why we never go with my family. We were just worried we can get something out there. And I think it's no sandy in Russian. On the Russian side, it's no sand. It's pebbles. Pebbles? Yeah, I think so. And But on Bulgarian side, I've heard it is cleaner and uh, it's sandy. And uh, But still, uh, some people who live in the mountains in Sandansky area, they still prefer more in Sandansky and go in Greece to a Sea. A G and C. And uh, they still don't like Black Sea, so that's why I thought I have to go and see it myself and then just uh, decide is it good or not. <laughs> okay, so we will see. Uh, okay, so we, we might still have a stop on the road somewhere, except like I'm saying, you see again guys, nothing, just fields and no places to stop. Uh, so I have no idea if we'll find somewhere to stop. We need a tree because it's going to be very hot. And uh, we can finish, uh, we have some sausages and bread with us and uh, have a little break. because it's only 29 centigrades which is 80 something Fahrenheit so it's not too hot because in Plovdiv it was 38, 39 so I wish this weather would be here right now that weather from Plovdiv because I wanted to go swim yesterday right now I'm not so sure but we will see guys right now we are walking in um, city park and it is huge it's like you can see everywhere behind me, it's like I'm in the forest. It just feels like a forest. We are walking closer to the seaside because on the map we looked and it should be lake and then sea. And that spot is the northern beach. Should be, it's called Saha. And, uh, or Saksa, it's uh, spelled like S-A-X-A. -A. And uh, to the park is from our place where we're renting. It's only like five minutes. Uh, in the corner and you are here but uh, it's uh, very complicated because it's very big lots of uh, I don't know the pavements but it looks like the pavements uh, the cars can drive I thought you can't really drive the car so my husband is trying to go I think you shouldn't go there because you can't go through there is no path there has to be a path <laughs> no you don't really want to end up like in some mash or anything let's just get to have marsh <laughs> You, you never know what you have here. It should be a lake, but I think it should be a path. 
where we can get out to the beach. What does it tell you there? Does it show the... It says go down here. So, and then, should oh, be... No, so it's going to take it all away from me. It takes us from the entrance? Yeah, no. No, it can't be. Yeah, no, no, still a little bit more, yeah. We didn't reach it. There, we're walking here, it's correct, so we're going to go down and here. You can't get to the lake, so we need to go to the beach, so it's a little bit of a walk. We should have really walked in the alleys, where it's a little bit more shade. So we thought we will go to swim, but uh, it's only like 25 degrees and uh, with a slight breeze. So we thought today we will just go uh, and uh, explore a little bit the area to see where it is. And maybe tomorrow we will go to the beach. We will see. I will have run around to see the place uh, a little bit because it's only one day, so not enough really. But uh, at least to see what it looks like because Burgas was one of the cities we were actually thinking to come and leave, uh, bring my parents over and uh, uh, leave them here. <laughs> and maybe we all would also like, come and visit them often. So. Or not. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Burgas, you see, has a huge refinery. We passed it when we were driving and uh, couldn't get closer to it, but from far it was it's quite big. But uh, So that makes the city is quite rich so it gets a lot of money so it's building up it's progressing uh, but i'm not sure how ecologically if it's good or not so that was a little bit of downside when i find out that there's a huge refinery because you know when you want to retire you want to retire in a nice place where it's a good ecology and uh, nice air and the sea would be nice <laughs> so i mean <laughs> it's a long walk if you like live there somewhere it's really far uh, by the look of it to walk to the seaside you don't even see, see yet well, okay, we will see. And of course, in the evening we will have something to eat. Uh, and uh, planning to eat by the sea on the beach. I can hear the sea. Okay, guys, so here we found uh, sand um, uh, sculptures. And uh, they're quite big. And uh, But I think I, you need to pay for it to go in to see it. We're not going to do it now because we're actually still looking for the beach. Okay guys, so we are inside the cafe, well actually it's a restaurant, you saw we actually passed it on the way, it's called restaurant Vodienicata and we really like the menu, we already ordered some beer, Pirinska as usual of course, 
uh, Bulgarian uh, nice and fresh beer and um, they have a really really good menu and I think the prices are very cheap look uh, salads well you know we don't really like salads so we are not starting with the salads as usual but I think maybe there's something that will be in the dish but okay I think the price is about the same on the salad so it's like from 450 up to 1260 you see the Chopska uh, famous right uh, Bulgarian salad is 460 lep which is about 230 230 euros so I think it's about the same prices but they have really really big menu guys look at this and different starters look at the starters um, it's a warm appetizers okay so you see the prices for yourself guys so I'm just showing you quickly you divide it by two so we ordered um, potatoes with cheese as usual and it is here is 390 so about two euros roughly two euros and uh, look I just we ordered some seafood but look how how much you have different choice of chicken I really like chicken with mushrooms and sauce look they have choice mushroom and yellow cheese uh, chicken kawarma it's chicken with honey soy sauce wine cinnamon then in another one chicken caramel with honey soy sauce wine and chicken in um, the mustard and cornflakes chicken wings pecans with also honey soy sauce and spices uh, chicken julienne look at this guys this is such a good menu I mean I look at all those chickens and I want to try every single one of them I don't know if it's very tasty I'm sure it is yeah. we will see what ours is going to be and look at the prices like uh, 680 658 so it's like three between three and four euros that is like I think it's like super super cheap look at this okay the pork uh, pork prices you can see here so between four, around five six euros so uh, and uh, they have lamb and beef and some what the specialities they make 2150 for 650 grams about 10 euros for so you can eat 10 euros for two uh, something and uh, okay let's see look they see they have grilled lots of things uh, grilled they're very small though let's see what else they have some bigger ones uh, can have chicken shashlik and they're like about also seven euros uh, and this is the seafood you see guys that's what we're going to have some seafood so you can see seafood grilled I don't know it's the grilled blue fish is very expensive the most expensive one 29 euros uh, left so it's about 15 euros and everything else about seven euros six euros you can have in the in the lower three euros oh, you have also something 28 is fried turbo with potatoes is also about 15 euros and uh, some other ones we have burgers mussels we ordered and burgers mussels is something they make here in this area we were told so you can see this is what it has mussels olives onions garlic tomato spices and it's a 780 and so under two years and also I ordered squid uh, pecan and they are uh, 1190 so it's about six years so that's what we're gonna have but you see it's a good really really good choice uh, and you have some more fish different fish and then you have cheese other starters and you have pizzas I'm not going to pay attention on pizzas because okay the pizzas price is also between uh, 350 and uh, 7 euros for pizza but uh, you know when you're on the seaside you would need pizza really right you would eat some more fish and uh, seafood and I have like, spaghetti so bread oh wow bread is like 0.15 left I have piece of bread is 15 Statinki, not point fifteen statinki. It's like uh, seven cents, <laughs> something seven cents. Uh, yeah, so a bit uh, bigger pieces, say uh, like about four left, two euros. And we have desserts. Hmm, tiramisu is only for forty two twenty. Okay, so and this is the drinks. This is the soft drinks, hot drinks, guys. Look, cappuccino is only one twenty euro for cappuccino. So that's quite good. Usually cappuccino is uh, quite expensive, isn't it? Okay. Okay, we have something. It's arrived. Okay, guys, look. We have calamari just arrived in tomato sauce. So that's what it looks like. This is, uh, I forgot most, midi. Midi? Midi? How you call this one? Mussels. Mussels. That's mussels. Burgas. Made in burgas. So burgas type. And potatoes with cheese, as usual. So bon appetit to us, guys, and to you, of course, if you are eating right now, together with us.
Okay, at the end we decided to, to have a dessert for two. I want to share it. Okay, guys, we spent 33 left today, so but it's slightly more than 15 euros. Guys, we just uh, finished our dinner and uh, going back home. So it's a little bit chilly right now. Have a little bit of walk the game with the computers and uh, we don't get wet. So that's it, the day is finished and uh, it was really nice, I really like it here guys. <laughs> I don't know how it is here during the winter time. I've heard it is very deserty and a bit chilly, windy, but uh, in July, it's August actually, in August, it's uh, really nice. I do really like it. It's a long promenade, like seven kilometers leg. So I, I do really like the walks like this. So it's, it's really good. So, okay. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.